I'm Old Snailock. Welcome to another episode of Old Snailock's Workshop. First thing I want to do is clip these wires off so that I don't have to fight that cable. This is a six wire cable. Now, I would think, I would think somewhere in the whole big city of Kalamazoo, someone would have a piece of 16 3, excuse me, 16 6 SOOW cable. It's not that odd a thing to have, except now most things aren't run on power cord. Control cables are remotes. The wire leading to hoists and cranes and all the other things that you would have on a, a pendant are now remote control. So six wire cord is kind of unusual. So I'm not going to be able to get any six wire cord right away. Now I could wait, I can order it. Take about a week to two weeks to get here. But I really don't want to wait that long. So I'm going to do an old fashioned way of doing things. I'm going to cable the wires together and make my own 16 6. It's not really going to be 16 6, it's going to be a duplex front of 16 2, or 16 2 with ground. But it's going to work out. So now I have one cable that is green on both ends and one cable that is unmarked. They both have three wires in them, one black, one white, and one green. Now in the old days, Take a wire marker and just number each one of the wires and put a marker on it. But I don't have markers either. It's not very often that I do machine tool wiring. Since I don't have Dad's toolkit handy, I'm going to get by with what I got. I'm going to hook up the three green wire, the three green cable wires on the right hand side, and the three bare wires on the left hand side. And I'm just going to go white, black, green on both sides.
Well, there's that. Let those cool a little bit. Then I'll assemble the housing. Managed to thread the wires through the connector. Now I'm going to attach the nut that will tighten the connector into the body of the switch. Is that secure? Now the wires come from different places and go to different places. I'll give myself a little more room on this cord. I have space inside that switch box for a little extra wire. So you don't have to fight it around so much. Same thing on this side that I did on the other. Feed the wire through. I'm setting the screw so that they're the heads are facing out so I can get to them to tighten them and also so that they don't run into each other. Wires are secure. Now I can begin connecting them. connectors on this nut kind of nice because they have a little cup the little cup encapsulates the wires so that when you put the washer over the top it tightens down the wire and locks it inside the cup washer over the top of it. And tighten the screw down. And the wire is secure. And 
I think it still operates, so that means the wire's not in the way of anything. I don't want to tuck that wire down just a little bit. Out of the way of the other conductor so that I got room for them. See how that little cup holds the wire securely in there? That is a nice design. mount the cover onto this switch temporarily so that I can verify that the switch is wired correctly if we're mounting it onto the base. See if it works. Okay, the system's ready to test. Got the cable put together with the switch, power cord attached to it. I'm going to plug in the motor controls. And I'm going to make sure that the switch is in the off position before I plug in the power cable. Well, we're plugged in. Nothing's happened yet. It's kind of a good thing. Forward. Reverse. I think we have a working system. Looks like it's working. Okay, I can unplug the system. Make sure the switch is off. And I'm safe. Now I can mount this switch back onto the motor or onto the lathe. And we will be one step closer. I do like this quick wedge screwdriver. Slide it into the screw, push forward on the plunger, 
and the two blades are pushed together and they act like a wedge and go in there and jam into the slot on the screw. You don't want to tighten the bolt with it. It's really only for starting the thread. But man is it handy in those tight little spots. Ready to bolt the switch back onto the face of the lathe. I really like this quick wedge screwdriver. It uh, operates pretty simply. When you slide the collar out to the end, it brings these two wedge shaped sections of the screwdriver blade together and causes them to expand in the slot of the screw. like so. Now this screwdriver is not intended to tighten screws, it's only for putting them into place. Using it, I can start the screw, put it into position, take it in a few threads so that it will hold, then do the same thing again with the next screw head. Open it, Slide it shut. Bring the switch up into position. Put the screw in. You hear the click? That means the screw started into the thread on the casting. Now I take standard screwdriver, tighten the screw. This is an old style Klein screwdriver. Uh, I got that uh, many years ago. Square shank, good grind on it, rubber covered grip. I really like that screwdriver. Now, slide the cover up over the switch. Had to do some manual adjustment to the location of the screw hole and the cover. There. Now another test. Thanks for watching.